I think she's, I think she, she's, um, not that fast. I think she's slower than Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Emmy now. Hey, welcome back. Wait, hold on. Okay. Let me burp real quick. Okay, I'm ready now. Hi, welcome back. Welcome back. Whoa. How big was that burp? Yeah, it was a pretty big burp. It's tiny. It's a fucking pussy burp. Little push burp. Anyway, I last time we know. figured out that Emmy needs therapy. <laughs> yeah. And she can't get close to anyone or we'll die. Girl. Especially when I have a bad heart. Girl needs to get over that people, like, I know that sounds harsh, and not get over it, but move past it and understand this shit's gonna suck. And, like, you have trauma and that's okay, but you need to get help for it. Cutting everyone out of your fucking life isn't gonna help anything. So, make you make you a sad, lonely person. And then I can't feel bad for you because you did it all yourself. <laughs> and you didn't ever ask for help when you clearly need it. Kenji was in the other car. Not so how it's I not feel. her fault all alone. <laughs> oh no! Kenji all along. <laughs> <laughs> Got Kenji was, when he was eleven. Did M Night Shammy write this? Yeah. Shamadong. <laughs> Dwelling less on the past that I can't change, living in the present, looking at the future. Uh, uh, I guess this really is a Katawa shoujo. <laughs> She was, she was saying the truth. It's simpler <laughs> no. to look at the next curve, ignoring the path gone by. No worry about the opponent left behind. No care for spectators on the sidelines. And unfortunately, no time to watch out for lagging teammates either. I throw myself on the bed, looking at one corner of this thing as if the answers I want are written there. Ah, but there is luck. This is what it says on the on the corner. Yeah. She's literally running away for something, but have I not been doing the same thing? Trying my best to forget about my hospitalization. I am getting better, but my health isn't going to magically fix itself. Emmy has two legs instead of a heart to deal with. Well, those aren't going to magically fix themselves either. Maybe this is just as fixed as the both of us can get. No, therapy. The room becomes darker and darker until I can't really tell what I'm looking at in the corner anymore. Put some paralysis demons on his wall, <laughs> <laughs> Steven. The morning comes too soon on the heels of a sleepless night. Is this how Amy has been spending her night? Staring at the wall or ceiling trying to stop thinking about whatever it is? Her in my case? The clenched feeling in my butt is still there. I can't Oh, I didn't know you took it. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're did. Yeah. so casually. <clears throat> Almost like she were teasing me or chastising me for su suggesting that the earth is flat. Which it is. You <laughs> should be chastised <laughs> for suggesting that. It's how it's gonna be. The way it's gotta be sucks. I'm feeling so miserable we... that I nearly decided to accept the run. That'd be stupid though. It's not like something I should do just to see her. Sure, that was the original reason, but it's something more now. I'm starting to enjoy the running. There are worse ways to get the blood flowing anyway. Never thought I'd say this but after the first week or so, but I feel a lot better after a run. Like, no matter what else I do today, I've at least done that one thing. Wakes me up, and Emmy herself said the running always clears her mind. Maybe it'll clear her mind. At least I hope so. Yeah, so how can you date this piece of work, this... this this bundle of chaos she thinks the earth is round what are you doing <laughs> man get out of there oh, you're right the morning is cool and clear the, it's a bit humid the lines between joe and kenji are just blurring more and more each time <laughs> ken joe <laughs> ken, ken joe yeah uh the morning is cool and clear if a bit humid summer is making itself known it seems ken joe truly <laughs> emmy's already stretching out when i arrive and greets me with a smile and wave Hey, Hazel. Side of her so cheer cheerful. It's like a kick in the gonads. How could oh. she be so happy after yesterday? I give her a half wave and I'm surprised to receive a hug. Imagine getting kicked in the, in the nuts by her prosthetics. Her oh. running prosthetics. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh, please. I don't even have balls, but that sounds awful because it's like metal, which has got to be worse than bone. Ugh. Hey, about last night. Here it comes. I wanted to say thanks. 
I actually managed to get some sleep for the first time in a while, and you think it's because of our talk? Yeah, because talking about your feelings fucking helps you, dumb bitch. So thanks. How could she sleep better after our chat? She basically told me that she wouldn't want to get closer to me, and that let her sleep well? Excuse me, well, what the hell? Emmy neither doesn't notice my bafflement or chooses not to notice. No telling with her anymore. Uh, no problem, glad it helps. The venom that threatens to drip into my voice is controlled for now. But I had better start running now before I do anything stupid. Oh my god, we gotta watch- oh, we gotta watch him fall in love and we're all excited and then we gotta watch the bitter breakup? Oh no. I know, he's- he's- he oh, has some resentment no. suddenly. I don't want to play this game anymore! <laughs> oh! Yeah, it fucking hurts, like, on the bad endings. Yeah. How do you get good endings?! Amy you made seems the right choices, which I'm not going to tell you how to do. I'm going to stab Amy you. Amy seems equally willing to get started, and before long, we're darting around the track. Zoom, I can tell she feels more relaxed. Running has gone back to the more graceful movements I remember from when I first watched her. It's in stark contrast to the almost brutal way she's been hurling herself around the track these past few days. Our talk really does seem to have helped her. Pity it couldn't help me. Is there gonna ever be a game where we get a good ending? I would be, it's only how, act three. How do we, we always make bad decisions? It's, it's, it's only act three. This shit's bitter, dude. Yeah, it's only act three. <laughs> There's probably just a little fight right now. I get into the rhythm of running. Thinking back to when I couldn't afford thinking about anything else, but I keep my mind, mind, body ready. Guess those days are gone. At least for the first couple of laps. Annoyed at the lack of success, I'm having that clearing in my head. I increase the pace. Ah, uh, there's a burning sensation in my legs. The breaths come ragged in my chest. The pounding of my heart, which I still need to be careful about. But it does seem to have gotten stronger. I can feel a pumping blood through my veins. The sound thrums in my ears and her but instead... Thrums a word? I have no idea. Of being packed as I was the day in the snow. I am instead filled with elation. It's working! My heart, that fatal flaw that landed me here, has improved. I think I can! I think I can! I can do it! Yes! <laughs> Thrums is indeed a word. Huh. <laughs> I'm able to keep going now, and maybe one day I'll be able to stop worrying so much. Right now, it doesn't matter that I have no idea what to do about Emmy and me. Emmy me. All that matters is that my arms and legs continue to pump in concert with one another. Nothing else. As I hit the final stretch, I find myself that running really does help, though not as much as I'd hoped. I do feel better, and as I walk a few laps to cool down, I begin to remember last night in a slightly less emotional manner. Amy wants me to stay distance from her. I can't bring myself to do so. There's got to be a way around this, some kind of middle ground I can reach. Not sure what that middle ground is, though. Damn, I was feeling optimistic. Nice run, Hassal. You've really improved. Nice run. That's all you can hope for now, that's it. Congratulations, Hassel, you're pathetic. Gotta change my attitude. Well, you know, I am pretty awesome. And yeah, I just keep saying things that I don't mean. Any second now, I'll be as good at hiding my problems as Emmy is. Oh my god, he did both of, he's just gonna turn into a bitter old bitch. <laughs> I like to think so. Why does she do this to me? Say something like that with such real affection in her voice that it makes my heart lip. She doesn't mean it. She can't. Are you saying my heart lip? Yeah, it was on purpose. Oh. I must be doing a worse job than I thought because Emmy peers closely at me. Hey, you feeling okay? I'm fine, 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 fine. Maybe we should get to the nurse, huh? Yeah, I'd hate to keel over on you. Emmy looks a little shocked at my bitter tone. Don't say things like that. You've already done it once before, you know. Why does she act so affectionate? She doesn't really care. I thought she made that clear. But despite all that, I find myself apologizing even though I shouldn't have to. Even though she's probably just putting on the act. <laughs> Sorry. My god, does he turn into Kenji? <laughs> Come on, let's see the nurse. I can't let myself calm down the whole time. The nurse is going to make things better. Oh yeah, we're way better. The, the nurse will turn him into Kenji. Oh god. Every time it feels like I've gotten over what happened last night, Emmy does something or says something that shows affection and I'm back in the beginning. The image of her ending that conversation haunts me. 
It was like the final twist of the knife that left me feeling bereft of any hope that Amy and I could have been more than what we are. And what are we at this point, little more of friends who happen to fuck? Oh, oh, oh! Extra sense of that. Yuck. And really, Why? it's not like it's a bad word. So? I should have said it. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, no. Censor it, like, but like make the censor bar like two blocks and like one long rectangle over it. Uh, put <laughs> so the. It's like, a, it's like a cube penis. Uh, put. <laughs> Put um, the sensor bar over a word that's not fuck and make fuck really big. And really, it's not like I don't enjoy the time spent with her. Said so the other day myself. I very nearly didn't even bring anything up with her. I was just gonna hop on in there and let it ride, wasn't I? With this, but, yeah, the nurse, us. the nurse made Kenji an incel. He he prescribed him the black pill. Oh shit! Yeah, and the vaccine. <laughs> yeah. I find myself in front of the nurse's office, still brooding as he checks out Emmy. Emmy comes bounding out of the door, gives me a kiss, and darts off to shower. I assume. Meanwhile, the nurse beckons me into his office, giving me the ritual once over. Now, are you sure you want the COVID vaccine, Hassel? <laughs> you don't know what they're putting in here, do you? <laughs> Could be pig's uh, blood. Any problems today? Nah, I even pushed it a little harder today than I have in the past, and I seem to be able to handle it. Pushed it real good. <laughs> Thank you. That's uncharacteristically risky coming from you, Hisao. You've been hanging around out with Emmy too much. She's rubbed off on you, and not necessarily in a good way. At the mention of Emmy's name, I can't help but frown unhappily in spite of my efforts at control. Hmm. <laughs> Well now, this is new, don't you think? You think maybe you're playing for the wrong team, Hassau? <laughs> Have you thought about that? Uh, last I checked, your usual response to Emmy's name was a grin, not a frown. <laughs> what exactly happened between you two? Because Emmy doesn't seem to be in on it, whatever it is. We had anal sex and it was bad, and she told me she never could rely on me. Hmm. She looked more relaxed than I've seen her in weeks, which is unusual for this time of the year. What do you mean by that? By what? For this time of year, I keep trying to find out what's been bothering her, but she clams up as soon as I broach the subject. And last night she said, <laughs> Let me guess, she won't tell you because she says she can't trust you. And now you're crushed because you thought that the two of you were so much more than she seems to think, right? Uh, I guess... It's literally exactly it. <laughs> Are you spying?! Hisao, I'm the nurse. It's my job to know these things. Is it? Plus, I've known Emmy for long enough to know that she'd try to do something like this. It's just like her. He says this was a sort of half-affectionate, half-frustrated tone that would seem more appropriate if he had a cigarette dangling from his hips. Hips? Yeah, his hips. From, As from his, like, pocket pants, he's like, hey, you wanna, you wanna, hey, you wanna smoke this? a cigarette right here? <laughs> yeah. But in my pants, so you have yeah, to, like, suck can, on the ash. <laughs> you cannot, you cannot move it. You know how cigarettes work? As it seems, he's willing to make a do with a pen. I open my mouth to respond, but a knock sound on the door interrupts me. It's Kenji! Hey, you guys still in there? Just a moment, Emmy. Give us a second to get our pants back on. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> the door busts open and Emmy glares knives at the doors. Asshole. I didn't mean to get your hopes up. Hey, can, can you leave me out of this? I, anyway, what's up, Emmy? Forget something? Try to take a more cheerful tone with her. No need to upset her. The two can play their things fine game. They're gonna be one of these those gym couples that just works out to avoid their relationship troubles. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I forgot to ask you something. Just bottled up resentment for years. What's that? Oh. Do you wanna come with me on a trip to my house? My mom's making dinner, and I thought you might want to join us. Fuck her mom in revenge. Yeah. I bet you trip a lot because your legs don't work. <laughs> he says it, like, very bitterly. 
Well, of course I accept. <laughs> <laughs> Emmy punches the nurse in the arm playfully. Not you, idiot. Were, oh, were you, you, you were over last week. I was talking to Hassel. Wait, she's fucking the nurse. Oh, how interesting. Meeting the parent. I love to go, Emmy, thanks. The nurse raises an eyebrow but says nothing. We could have a conversation in front of you about our relationship, it's nurse, sir? The fuck? It's, it's almost like he's a family friend, you know? He being... is, but it's not like, I don't know, I wouldn't, in front of a family friend of mine, I wouldn't be like, Steven, we need to have a real serious conversation. Why are you inviting me to meet your parents, but you say you can't rely on me? What's happening? <laughs> You're not gonna do that in front of anyone. Stupid. Yeah, she's... Great, I'll be in my room. Swing by after you shower and change into something clean and we'll grab the bus. Uh, you ride the bus, idiot. Now grab it. The time it's me who leans in for a kiss <laughs> before darting off to my room. What? Make kissing sounds. <laughs> Steven. <laughs> What an interesting development. <laughs> Maybe we're getting closer after all. Maybe Amy's finally ready to open up a little. Steven, can you put the posters back up, but they're all taped back together? That's what I was thinking. Hell yeah. Maybe she's just being polite, and a free meal seems like a good way to apologize for last night. Great. Now I can't decide whether I'm excited, ner nervous, or depressed. You can be all three. I sell for a combination of all three. <laughs> yeah, the shower. <laughs> Thanks, lady. <laughs> we're complex things, if pe people are, you know? Yeah. It's like in that movie Father? Inside Out when they learn to mix emotions. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of Wait, emotions go, going on. Which in our movie? Bodies. Inside Out. Oh, I thought you said Fat Albert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one. You know the live action movie where he jumps like, uh, he's live action and he he goes into the real world. I have not seen it and I don't plan to. I just wish so many times we could cut the episode when you start talking about shit we don't know anything about. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Why? too late for that. No. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm sorry, but it's funny. I don't think I like riding on buses. Actually, I think I'm pretty comfortable saying that is a fact. They sway a lot, they smell funny. And you can feel every bump on the road. You're also not safe because you're not in a seatbelt. I not love looking forward buses, to this. though. You sick heathen, you. Yeah, buses are Some fun. Some buses are you really fun. Sick and, like, heathen, you. Know, if, you. If you're taking, like, the last bus home and you're the only one on there, and, like, sometimes you get to talk to the bus driver, too, and then, yeah. you know, you get to hear a lot of interesting stories. And it's fun. You talk to the bus driver? I've talked to a bus yeah, driver a few times. You guys are really more friendly than I am, I guess. I just, I don't want to talk to people. I don't know. I'm scared. Maybe, maybe that's a different thing, though. Okay, uh, let's continue. Plus, Amy's legs keep making a clanking noise that draws the attention of everyone else on the bus. She's really embarrassing to be in front of with her fake legs. I don't like being around handicapped girls <laughs> in public. She's in short skin, and she's got long socks drawn up to her prosthetics so they don't look so obviously false again. But that doesn't stop the odd look or two every time her legs bump together with an audible clunk. Ugh, She's got a my gun! My heart doesn't set off a metal detector. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I shift nervously in my seat. Amy raises an eyebrow questioningly. She doesn't seem to mind the stares. Either that or she doesn't even notice that people are staring. I'm sure she's gotten her fill of odd looks before after a certain amount of time. I doubt she noticed anymore. Not that she'd ever tell me. Another fact is, I'm just not comfortable on the bus. I can't seem to come to terms with the fact that Emmy appears to be trying to bring me closer while at the same time pushing me away. That's exactly what it is, because she needs therapy herself. Yeah, maybe, maybe she realized what she said was rude. You know? You know? It's it's hurtful and rude, but I, it's probably true. Yeah. She needs therapy. She got trauma. Me and the parents is a big deal, right? Or I mean she parent. Got big trauma. Excited to see your mom again. Not that I haven't really Oops. met Emmy's mother, but the, just that one time. Uh, now it's going to be as Emmy's boyfriend with everything that implies. I can feel my heart pounding on my chest. An echo of the snow-covered afternoon that feels like it's so long ago that it might as well be another life entirely. Except then, I don't know what was going on. I also didn't have any medication to help prevent things spiraling out of control. 
I've come to a, a, a terms with my physical health, but for the second time today, I feel like I'll be able to live normally now, or at least as normally as possible. Normally? Normally, Nami. Now I'm in Jaden. <laughs> now if only I could manage my relationship as well as I managed my heart, I'd be in great shape. Oh shit, I said it out loud. Cute, well, cute, 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 cute. Well, we're here. Amy grabs my hand. As soon as we stepped off the bus, she started heading down the street almost immediately. Come on, we've got a couple blocks in some my place. Uh, well, couple? Okay. I didn't know. I thought you didn't want to be a couple, Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> I follow. <laughs> Just anything triggers it. I follow <laughs> Emmy down the street, watching her confident strut. She's setting kind of a quick pace for just a walk. I guess she's anxious to get there. So how does your mom do sort of thing often? No, nah, not too frequently. Mom's never been much for playing hostess. Oh, really? Yeah, my dad was always the one pushing her to have people over. This sudden unprompted reference to her father catches me off guard. And from the look on Emmy's face, I'm not sure she meant to mention him. I think I've only heard her talk about him once. All I remember is that Emmy's mom told me that she wasn't around anymore. Or he, I mean. Haha. <laughs> oh, your mom prefers solitude. Emmy laughs. Either from relief that I didn't ask her about her father or from finding my statement actually funny. <clears throat> Not at all. She's why I'm such an outgoing person, you know? She just prefers to be the guest rather than the hostess. It's less stressful that way, or so she says. Clearly, she's never met, uh, had to meet her girlfriend's mother for dinner. Amy giggles again, speaks in a teasing tone. Nervous herself. No! You shouldn't be, you know. It's not that big of a deal. Din d just dinner at my house, that's all. Yeah, but have you ever brought home a boyfriend before? I confess that part of me dreads hearing the answer to this. I know very li little of Amy's past relationships. I don't even know if there were past relationships. No, I guess I haven't. <gasps> oh yeah, well, well, I like, I, you know, well, I've had I've like a million girlfriends, hundreds so. of times. So <laughs> you're nervous. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> Pushes her down. Ha. Huh. <laughs> hey, maybe this really is kind of a big deal after all. Well, maybe you should go home then. Oh, good. Now I'm twice as nervous. Though to tell the truth, I'm pretty happy to hear about the first one. Maybe we've got something special after all. Oh my god, you guys. These fucking flip-floppy teenagers. <laughs> Bolstered by this new thought, I've managed to calm down considerably by the time Amy knocks on her front door. Hey mom, open up, we're here! Oh, oh. The door swings open, Mrs. Ibarazaki Emmy with stands. boobs! Emmy with boobs! And feet! <laughs> <laughs> Surprising similar to Emmy's. I'm never gonna get used to that. I don't remember what voice I gave her. Uh, just make a new one. You know, people normally wait for a few minutes before they start That's shouting at the door. That was, yeah, that was, that was, I think that was pretty much a... And most mothers say hello to their daughters instead of scolding them right away. Oh, of course, welcome home, dear. I've missed you. An affectionate hug later, we're inside. And it was only then that Bitch, Amy's you're mom... having guests over with a sink that full? Hmm. Seems to remember that I'm actually here. Bitch, you live like this? <laughs> ah, hello to you too, Hassau. How are you? Quite well, thank oh, you. We... Nice to not have school to worry about for a bit. My family has that oven, except it's not like an electric stove top. It's it's an actual, you know, w physical with swirly ones. Oh, uh, like the coil thingies? Yeah, yeah. coils. Ah, oh, yes. You finished your exams, haven't you? That must be quite a relief for you both. Certainly a weight off my mind, that's for sure. Mine too. Hey, wait a minute. My sink looks like that too. <laughs> so, does, so does the counter. Wait a minute! <laughs> oh my god, this is my house! <laughs> <laughs> Mine too, I think I slept well for the first time in weeks last night from relief alone. They forget to photoshop you out of the picture? Yeah, you're just you're <laughs> just there, have mac and cheese shoved in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> if this news is a surprise to Emmy's mother, she doesn't show it. Still, her response betrays a note of interest. 
Is that so? I'm very glad to hear that, Emmy. You know I get worried when you get all wound up about, well, wink wink, exams. <laughs> Certainly, Emmy's mother knows something I don't, or rather, she doesn't know that Emmy's told me about the nightmares. It's interesting being able to observe how Mrs. Ibarazaki covers for Emmy. That protective instinct to make sure that I don't know any more than Emmy's willing to tell me. I wonder if Mrs. Ibarazaki will figure out that I know about the nightmares, or is she just trying to keep everything secret from everybody? Yeah, it's not been about as bad this year. But it is in the past. Her style helped me to stay focused. Okay, I know that's not true. She fucking, she even cut off contact. I said school after exam week. I fucking can't see my girlfriend unless we're running or fucking eating lunch. She's lying. But if she told me during the day and she told me more than once that the morning runs, the only thing she looked forward to during exams, so maybe it's not that much of a lie. Either way, to hear that being around her has helped a little, made me feel better. Amy's mother raised an eyebrow at the same age. Either she doesn't believe Amy, or she's as surprised as I am. Well, then it appears that this is a good thing you two have become so close. Mm -hmm. Anal? <laughs> I, I tell you to take good care of my daughter herself, but it looks like you're already doing that, and you've already had anal. Amy grins at this and seems to take pride for having anal. <laughs> Actually, I'd say your daughter's been the one taking care of me. She's got me out and running and shit, you know? Like, and she let me use her butt. Yeah. I'm probably more active since meeting her than I ever was, even before. I actually never thought of it that much, nor I'd appreciate the humor in it. I was too active before my heart attack. Pick up games of soccer don't really count since they weren't that common. So now... Uh, excuse me, Mrs. Berzaki. I, I have a weak heart now. I run every day. Pushing my luck with the help of medication. Chuckle quietly, then realize I had never finished my sentence. Well, before I had my heart attack, I wound up at school here. Came out so casually. There was a one time I, I would have thought twice about talking about it. There was anything wrong with me. But now, now I just don't really care. Uh, especially with the company of Emmy and her hot mom. If Emmy can be a cavalier about her disability, then so can I. I think back to Emmy's mom me. has got it going on. Yes, yeah, Emmy's does. mom has got it going on. Clap, clap, clap. Emmy declares herself the fastest thing with no legs. Emmy, <laughs> do you want... I don't remember how the song goes. Oh, what's my phone doing? Hold on. Emmy, can't you see? You're just not the girl for me. I know it might be wrong, but I'm in love with Emmy's mom. Never mind. It's yeah. just some stupid... Do you think, what do you think Emmy's dad looks like? Do you think it's just the nurse with a mustache? Emmy's dad is looking really bad. Emmy's the fact that she, anyway, um. <laughs> Emmy's dad was in a really bad crash. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Being stuck in the wheelchair frustrated her. I know, I was there, but even that was something she dealt with on her own. Despite my efforts to the contrary. Amy has a way of bringing out the more active side in people. I've never quite figured out how she does it. Those puppy dog eyes she gets for starters. Oh my god, fuck her mom. <laughs> I'm not surprised that she managed to rope you into an exercise routine. It's talking about her puppy dog eyes. Oh. Um, fuck her mom. <laughs> if, if Ren weren't just as stubborn as she is, I'm sure Emmy would have gotten her out running with you too. He... Oh, that reminds me. Rin says hello. Oh, Joe, what are you doing here? I drift oh. to the outer. Oh. Edges. <laughs> <laughs> I drift to the outer. What, the conversation. what am I doing in all these pictures? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm eating the table. It smells delicious here, and the spread that Emmy's mom made has produced it is impressive. Whoa, you've whoa, you've made enough to feed an army in here. Is it too much? Well, you can always take some leftovers with you when you go. That sounds great. I can only handle cafeteria food for so long. Something home cooked it will be a welcome change of pace. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, uh, I bought it from the cafeteria. Oh. What he said. <laughs> Thanks, I mom. The soup kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> it's du jour now. I'll kill myself. <laughs> the food tastes <laughs> as good as it smells, and there's a lull in the conversation while we all dig in. 
Enemy assaults are played with the usual amount of gusto, and I admit that I set a pretty fast pace myself. So, Hoso, I hear you and my daughter have gone rather close, mm, anal. <laughs> there is a say something like, Not nah, really, it's so strong that I open my mouth to say it, but then reassert control. We are close, there's no getting around it. I mean, Amy's brought me here, right? Fortunately, both Amy and her mother seem to have taken reaction as a sign that caught off guard, rather than not considering saying something's cruel. <laughs> I suppose we have. I blame the morning runs myself. You make it sound like a bad thing, Hassel. Uh, well, everyone found it a relief. Why? Emmy's always been a popular girl, but never made any close friends. This is news to me. I've always seen Emmy chatting with her classmates in the hallway. She just said she was popular. Yeah. Certainly the whole track team seems to love her. Is it true that she chooses to isolate herself during a lunch with Rin and me? Not exactly the sort of behavior one expects from a popular girl, after all. Then again, I've experienced her unwillingness to get close firsthand, so I can't say I'm that surprised. I was beginning to have my doubts. Amy rolls her eyes to the ceiling and grumbles something I can't quite make out. bitch. Can, can you say it like Popeyes? Glug glug. Yeah. <laughs> How was that Popeye? <laughs> uh, I was having a bit of that one. Uh, I don't remember what he sounds pop, like. It's uh, like a snappy macaron by olive oil. He's basically like that. Okay. There huh? Go. What? Was was that? Nothing. Mrs. Bear's hockey chokes on a drink with laughter. You've been hanging out with the nurse too long, Emmy. I'm going to have to talk to him about corrupting my daughter. Is he fingering you? Uh, somehow I don't think that would be very effective. I learned most of it from you anyway, not the nurse. I learned it from watching you, Mom. <laughs> don't listen to her, Hisao. She's a born liar. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I don't know, Emmy. I think your mother has a point. What? You traitor. You're supposed to take my side in this. Yeah, but you did die. Lie and, <gasps> ow! Wait, what did he say? You did lie about your leg after the meat. You oh. can't say that in front of her mom, you idiot. <laughs> Kicking the shins from an unmistakably plastic foot cuts me off, but not before Miss Barazaki eyebrows shoot upwards. <gasps> what about your leg? It wasn't a big deal. That's all. I was in a wheelchair for a little bit. The last few mumbled words quickly deciphered by Amy's mama. I suspect she has experience with this sort of thing, and a worried frown appears on her face. So that's why you can't, he kept dodging my calls. Oh, Emmy, I know how much you hate being in a wheelchair. No wonder you've been in such a mood lately. Yeah, she's happier on her feet, so to speak. She's Did happy it? feet. Didn't the nurse the call the mom? Put dancing penguin on the screen. Put a gif of the dancing penguin on the screen. No, not <laughs> the penguin. Put the bitch. For, put the bitch from Saints Row. Fucking yeah. <laughs> I thought. I thought the nurse called the Mrs. Here. Probably not. We just watched it happen. Did we? Yeah. No, we didn't. We watched him make a phone call. Yeah, and he was like, "Your daughter's being a little, little piece of shit." Oh, he probably didn't tell her the full scoop. Oh. Yeah. I see. Well, of course, sense. she spent enough time in a chair just after the accident. What accident? She didn't get prosthetics immediately? No, she had to finish healing up before they let her start that sort of therapy. You've got to go through to adjust th to those things. Especially since she wanted to run on them. I had no idea. Yeah, it sucked. Oh, did you see Ren's mural at the festival? Amy, sudden change the topic makes me realize blatedly that she's been fidgeting the whole time her mother and I've been talking. Should have figured on her being a little skittish when it comes to talking about the accident, even around her mother. Things haven't been the same since the accident. <laughs> no, I didn't make make it out to the festival, remember? Although I caught a glimpse of it at your track meet, it seemed pretty weird to me. I think it's more or less what she was going for. She talked a lot about it being dreamlike, or trying to make it dreamlike. Rin's art is one of those things I don't think I'll ever understand. 
That's not surprising. I don't think Rin expects to be understood. She told me once that the art allows people to understand stuff they wouldn't understand otherwise. But all the same, she doesn't think it actually works that way. I'm surprised that Amy talks about this with Rin extensively enough to actually have Rin's opinion such as it is. Although I expect that Rin could not uh, if she were so inclined to say the same thing about Emmys. Unless, of course, Emmy purposely keeping me in the dark about everything, which is like a but unpleasant to think about. <laughs> I drift down the unpleasant train of thought for a while, losing track of the conversation. Hey, Emmy, I've been meaning to ask. Huh? Are you going to visit? What? Are you going to visit your alive father this year? Alive? Question mark? <laughs> Steven, put it on the screen in all caps. Alive father? Question mark? Uh, from the way she says it, you think Amy's mother was talking about the weather. From the way Amy reacts, clearly not the weather. She flinches a slight jerk of the head backwards as if she's been slapped in the face. Can we talk about this later? Her voice sounds brittle. Strained. It looks like as if she's been severely shaken by the question. Seems that Mrs. Barzakli Bizakl I misjudged just how close Amy and I are. Something shut the fuck up. Sorry, my cat's Don't screaming. Don't tell your cat that. <laughs> well, he needs to stop screaming for food when he's fucking fine. Some things it seems are best not converse about with me around. Father is just one of those things. The accident that took her legs probably another one of those things. If her reaction to the earlier conversation between her and her mo- myself is any indication. Doesn't take Emmy's mother long to realize she's fucked up. Of course we can. Oh, sorry. Of course we can, dear. I'm sorry to bring it up. I just wanted to ask so I can make plans. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Amy fidgets nervously. Is her dad a drunk who got her into the accident and that's why she has no legs? Oh, maybe. Except I kind of know. As if embarrassed by her own reaction, I confess that her reaction is confusing. Steven! I didn't mean to. I ran into, like, three spoilers. I don't like being the only one left out. Damn it, Steven. Well, two spoilers are from hear? Emmy. Because I had, like... You knew about the... the uh, Yeah, he knew about the anal spoiler. Mm-hmm. When we've gotten past that. I don't... <laughs> I don't want to be left out. She only mentioned her father to me earlier today, less than a few hours ago even. Why is a simple question about it to visit her father cause such a strong reaction? You and Joe are talking behind my back, making conspiracies. Don't be a Kenji right uh, now. It's not true. I'm going as, as blind as you, except like you know things. three things. Unless whatever serenity she claimed that it reached by means of our talk in the previous evening has suddenly evaporated. Or didn't help much as I thought. Or claimed. Eh, uh, be right back. Gotta visit the little girl's room. Eh, oh. Uh. <laughs> Wait, there's no little boy's room here? Amy gets up suddenly, leaves the table, leaving me and Mrs. Barzaki alone. I'm a little conflicted. Should I go after her or should I hit on her mom? It's obvious that Amy's departure was not based on the call of nature. Something's bothering her, and I have to know. The only way to find out is to go to the source, and the source is currently pretending that she has to use the toilet. Excuse myself politely from the table and head that way. Only catch the sight of Emmy not in the bathroom. Rigby, no. But in the kitchen. Rigby, don't you fucking jump on there. Don't do it. I'll fucking... I'll fucking... You're trying to press the bridge. <laughs> this is like, uh... This is like Curse uh, the Cowardly Dog, except if Curse was a cat, and Rigby would not save me or Steven. He would sit there and scream for food. As we were dying. But that's how he says food. I excuse myself. Yeah, she's in the kitchen. Emmy left the door open. As I approach, I can see that she's holding onto the table in an attempt to compose herself an effort that fails as soon as I open my mouth. Did you pee in the sink? (laughs) Yeah. Did you pee in the sink? Emmy jumps and glares at me. What are you doing? What are you doing here? I didn't come here to be with other people. I just wanted to help you look rattled. Rigby, no! I'm going to rattle you. I said it was nothing, didn't I? And besides, I thought we'd establish that you can't help me. No, we established that you're stubborn. Look who's talking, the guy who followed me. This is different. I want to help you with whatever it is. 
funny because I just want you to leave me alone. Oh. Why? Why can't you just trust me? We've been over this already, Hassel. I've got to deal with this stuff on my own. I won't accept that. You need my help. You just won't take it. The worrying seems to be a little off. Oopsie. Need? I need your help? Oopsie. Well, it's a good thing we met, isn't it? Because otherwise, I guess I'd just be a broken human being, wouldn't I? No, it's a damn good thing that thing that Hassau came along to save the day, isn't it? Because God knows I can't save myself, can I? I'm just the poor, emotionally damaged girl with no legs, right? Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I don't think that. Oh, uh, no. Really? Because if you thought differently, then I don't think you'd be here saying I need your help. I mean, I don't think that you don't have legs. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't think you're emotionally damaged. <laughs> I think I've, I've gotten pretty far in life as a normal human being without you. So what? Nothing we've shared was important? I'm just the guy who hangs out with you? You're my boyfriend, Hassel, not my savior. Well, that much is obvious. Sis. You won't even consider that I could even help you, will you? You're just all bottled up and hope that a run will solve your problems. Or you'll come visit me and we'll fool around you until you feel better. Oh, your mom's listening. That's not <laughs> being a healthy human being. I mean, that's not what a relationship means. Well, it's what it means to me right now, Hassel. Oh. Uh, I wish... She seems to reconsider her words and a flicker of pain of doubt in her face. For a moment, I think she's about to cry. But the moment passes, now she's composed herself. Whatever that wish was will go unspoken. Look, I just, I can't do this right now. What? Have a serious conversation, open, honest. Give a damn about anyone besides yourself and your problems. What do you know about my problems? Nothing. You don't, you don't know what I've been through, so don't pretend that you do. I know you have nightmares, and I know your father's gone. What happened? I mean, jerks her head backwards, as if I had just slapped her. That brittle quality has gone back into her voice. Why don't you take a seat, Emmy? Why don't you take a seat right there? <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. It's stupid. This whole conversation has been a variation on an Emmy stonewalling me. Wait, you wouldn't even answer your question? Fine, keep you serious. That can, they can land in the grave as far as I'm concerned. Grave?! Emmy's eyes wide in shock. When it speaks again, it's a voice that is so low dangerous. Get out of my house, Hassau. Oh, jeez. The sudden change in her tone snaps me out of my self-righteous anger and makes me realize the dawning horror of what I just said. Her face? Yeah, right? I mean, I didn't mean. I said go, Hassau. Tell my mother that she cooked a wonderful meal, but you've forgotten a prior engagement and get out of my house. She's trembling now, shaking with anger, or sadness, or determination. Her voice is still low, controlled, almost a growl. I reach out to that point and arm on her shoulder to apologize for going too far, but she jerks away from my touch. Get out. Okay. What can I do? I walk into the uh, kitchen. Joe, go, fuck you! Go to the living room and make an apology to Miss Barzaki and let myself out. Yeah, it's emotional, isn't it? Yeah, fuck off. Next time on Subpar Kid. Next time on Subpar Kid, we're going to die of a heart attack stab in the back. <laughs> okay, next time. Oh, there's the, there's the, uh, there's the. Just put up hand-drawn pictures clocks. of me murdering Joe. What the? F okay, you better draw them you for me. Okay, <laughs> I'll draw them. I'm sorry. Smash that subscribe button and do it again and then do it one more time and it counts as two. Thanks.